Back to our coverage of the pandemic this morning and the worrying new COVID crisis that is unfolding in Western Canada. Alberta is now reporting around 40% of all active cases in Canada, according to CBC Tracking. It is stressing the province's health care system and forcing tough new decisions on which surgeries may be postponed. As we look at the map, this is the map that shows us the rate of active cases per 100,000 people. Alberta with the highest rate, 10 to times the rate of the much larger Ontario. Following Alberta is Saskatchewan. Officials in that province have just seen their highest daily caseload since the pandemic began 18 months ago. We're going to begin in Saskatchewan with Michael Serapio taking a look at the numbers and the decisions in that province. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Heather. And the numbers are essentially what the Saskatchewan Health Authority does not want to hear, can barely afford to hear, because yesterday the province did report its highest daily case count of the this whole pandemic, 449 new cases. Now, this comes at a time when hospitals in the province are, as you say, already feeling the strain of COVID-19 in the last week alone. Hospitalizations, while they jumped nearly 36% from the week before, there are now 209 people in Saskatchewan hospitals right now, 41 patients of whom are in intensive care. And just yesterday, Saskatchewan reenacted emergency orders that they essentially suspended in early July that give the government the power to redirect health care workers. Now there have been calls for Scott Moe, his government to do more in the face of this. Many doctors calling for tougher requirements like mask mandates and restrictions. Take a listen to Dr. Alex Wong. Putting something like a mask mandate to me as, as, as a physician seems so simple and so easy and so obvious and yet it didn't happen. And when we're at the brink, um, you know, uh, the only explanation frankly is, is that there's some other overriding motive, you know, for our provincial government, which again, I, I can't speculate on, but that clearly is overriding what it is that, you know, a mask mandate would be, whether it's symbolic, political or otherwise. But honestly, for me personally, it's extremely frustrating. Well, frustrating or not, the Saskatchewan Premier continues to resist calls for more mandates and restrictions, saying vaccines will be the way through for Saskatchewan. Right now, about 60% of the people in the province are fully vaccinated. That's about the same percentage as Alberta, but both are the lowest of all the provinces in this country. And of the 449 new cases announced yesterday, Heather, well, 86% of those cases were in unvaccinated people. Clearly, doctors want to see something done, fearing they may be forced to start triaging COVID patients, which means they would have to choose which patients have the best chance of survival with COVID-19 and therefore would receive the care versus patients who they perhaps think would not fare well. Michael, they're discussing that in Saskatchewan. They are discussing a similar situation, just a horrible decision uh, in Alberta as a situation there, as you mentioned, the highest rate of cases and chiefly among the unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. What is the Alberta situation this morning? Well, the numbers continue to be staggering in Alberta as well, Heather. Yesterday, uh, the province added nearly 1,600 new cases of COVID-19 into its count. And as we know, the province has been this country's hotspot for COVID-19 for quite some time. And as a result, yesterday, Alberta Health Service well, they cancelled all upcoming day surgeries in the Edmonton Health Zone and immediately they postponed 70% of all scheduled surgeries and procedures. Going forward, AHS says only priority cancer, urgent and emergent surgeries will be performed. And this is to make room for people with COVID-19 now reporting to hospitals and increasingly occupying these ICU beds because the province is running out of room. In fact, uh, it was interesting, Heather, to hear your earlier conversation with Alberta's former Chief Medical Officer of Health because he does have a warning for unvaccinated people as resources in the province continue to dwindle. Uh, let's take a listen to Dr. Talbot. If you're unvaccinated uh, and you end up getting infected, as the numbers suggest that you will, and you need a hospital, uh, you may not have a hospital that has space for you. So get immunized now. And to almost underline that point, CBC News has obtained a memo from Alberta Health Services, and it says if there is another reduction of services, whether that is needed, well, they will start to need to limit surgeries to only those affecting, quote, life and limb, so even more serious than what it is right now. And given how capacity continues to be stretched by these staggering daily numbers, well, that further reduction in service, uh, well, they could come before the end of this week, Heather. We will see how the province responds to all of this. Thank you very much, Michael Serapio.